This is the 26-year-old Bloomer. She's been through a lot, a lot of struggles, a lot of trials, tribulations, but she's reached this level where she's no longer a doomer. She's no longer a go-getter, but now she has bloomed, come into blossom, and her life has changed. We're going to learn about her today, learn about some of the things she goes through. After that, we're going to be looking at three of the most wholesome green text stories ever to have existed. We're going to have a great time today. We're going to have a me a year ago. Parents basically force me to not be a neat anymore. Yeah, this is going to be good. Child loves your baby. Don't get too much. Service your daddy, baby. Oh, welcome back to Starship Lockjaw, your daily source for internet subculture. Best, most wholesome channel on YouTube. Hey, hit the, hit the subscribe if you're new. Hit the thumbs up if you're not. Make sure you have notifications turned on. That's more important than anything right now. Turn on those notifications for Base Roman. Okay, here we go, my friends. The 26-year-old Bloomer. Let's see what she's going through. So she says, enough is enough. She says, I'm done with this pain. I'm done with this struggle. I've had enough. I don't want any more. She says, you can take that, put it in your pipe and smoke it. I'm done with you. Nice. Sometimes you have to say enough is enough. I'm not taking any more of this. She takes health seriously. Uh, she takes health seriously. Yeah, all kinds of health. Physical health, mental health, uh, spiritual health. If you're into that sort of thing too, take it all seriously, man. It matters, right? You only have one of you, right? You can get all sorts of other stuff, but there's only one you. There's only one mind. There's only one spirit. There's only one life. Take care of it. I like that. I like that. Open to failure and ready to learn. Oh, that's right. We gotta be open to failure. We have to be willing to take some risks here and there, right? If we're not willing to take any risks, how are we ever gonna get anything? How are we ever gonna win, right? Gotta be open to failure, but you take it as a learning experience, right? I failed so many things in life, but the best failures I've had were those that I learned from because I learned valuable life lessons to, to, to take with me throughout my life. Yeah, always be ready to learn, you guys. Take everything that happens to you and learn from it. Always be ready to learn from it. Fear is the enemy. That's right. Bloomer, Bloomer here, 26-year-old Bloomer knows that fear is going to hold her back. Fear will hold you back. Don't let that fear hold you back. Don't let that fear hold you back. Don't be a slave to fear. Don't let fear imprison you. No. 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 No more. She has a plan. That's right. She has a plan. She knows where she wants to go. And she knows how she's going to get there too because she's got a plan. Right? We don't want to just drift. When that plane takes off, when that ship sails, it needs to have a plan on where it's gonna go. Gotta have the plan. Without the plan, ain't think good the good things ain't gonna happen without the plan. Alright. Let's see what else the bloomer. Man, we've learned quite a bit about the doomer. We got a whole playlist about this stuff. We haven't touched on the go-getter yet, but we're gonna learn about that as well. We're we're touching on the bloomer right now, man. Bloomer is good stuff. Mmm, it's all good stuff. It's all so relatable. <laughs> what is done is done. There is only Fords. Oh, that's so right. Do you resent anybody? Do you remember people who treated you wrong? Who made you feel a certain way and you resent them? You have that negative feeling towards them, right? It doesn't feel good, does it? Yeah. Sometimes we just resent people and we don't... We're not willing to forgive. We're not willing to forgive ourselves. Sometimes we're not willing to forgive ourselves. Forgive yourself. Let go. Don't be a prisoner to resentment. To anger. To unhappiness. To darkness. To sorrow. What's done is done. There is only forwards. And beyond that, there is only the eternal now moment that we're never going to leave. No matter what you do, you're never going to escape this now moment. So appreciate this now moment and open your heart in this now moment to what you truly deserve, which is love and happiness. That is you. That's good. That's golden. What else we got? What else we got? Don't let the past control you. He's behind the curve and eager for a challenge. You're always ready for a challenge, huh? Yeah, if it's easy, here's what I said on Twitter the other day. I said, if it's easy, it's probably of a, if it comes to you easily, it's probably something of a lesser nature, right? The things in life, the great things in life, that which is great, requires time and effort and energy. Gotta put in that work. Gotta get it. You can, you can get it. And if again, if it comes to you easy, it's probably meaningless. It's probably not that, not that important. It's, 
It's not a good, it's not a good trophy, right? You gotta work hard for that. And you can. And you will. Now is your time. It's your time, my friend. It's your time. At life's crossroads, but won't let it go to waste. Right? We're at life's crossroads. You're always at crossroads. You're always at a fork in the road. Every day you're at a fork in the road. But which way are you going to go? You're going to go right? You're going to go left? Huh? Where does the bloomer go? It's all the process of the life from the doomer all the way to the bloomer and then eventually to that boomer chat drinking monsters mowing that lawn you can do it don't go the wrong route though don't take the wrong road you say base shaman you say base shaman you don't understand i've always taken the wrong road before that's okay that's okay because you can change that you can always change what you're doing always in control of destiny control knowing that you are in control of your destiny bloomer here 26 year old bloomer knows that 26 year old bloomer is in control of her destiny nobody else is no matter what anybody wants to say to you try to stop you they're not in control of your journey of your destiny you are don't give that power to people who want it but they don't want what's best for you because they don't know what's best for you only you do. Sometimes you gotta look deep in here to find it. Hone skills. Bloomer knows. Bloomer's got, Bloomer's got skills to hone. And Bloomer's gonna hone those skills. Bloomer knows. <laughs> You've got skills too. I've got skills. Nunchuck skills, bow hunting skills, computer hacking skills. Hey. Thumbs up the video for skills. We've all got skills. You do. You've got things you're naturally really, really good at. Hey, you've got things you're naturally not really, really good at. And that's okay. We want to become more self-aware and say, what am I good at? What am I really good at? You may say, base shaman. Say, base shaman. I'm not good at anything. You don't understand. I've never been good at anything. I'll say, yes, you are. You just haven't found it yet. You just haven't found it yet, but you will, and you're going to. It's gonna change everything. It's gonna change everything. And builds discipline. Discipline, my friends. Discipline can change your life. Discipline can change your life. And you don't have to have been raised with it, right? Say, I was never raised with discipline, Bay Sham. That's okay. You can develop it. And, and once you develop it, it's going to help you go where you want to go. Discipline is key. Discipline is so key. And once you train it into your brain, it train it into your mind, it's permanently there. You're going to maintain that discipline. And it's going to help you and it's going to guide you. And you're going to be on this path and nothing is going to be able to knock you off of that path. Because you have firm, set discipline that's going to take you where you want to go. You can develop that discipline. Like base shaman, I always wanted discipline, but I never had it. It's not too late. It's never too late. It's never too late. Uh, let's keep it rocking. Let's see what we got with our green text here. So that's the that's the that's the bloomer, you guys. That's the bloomer. Uh, twenty six year old bloomer. Amazing stuff, amazing stuff. We will be covering the bloomer much more in future videos, all right? Much more. If you like the bloomer, uh, hey, check this out. Leave me, this is a rule here, it's a rule. You have to bless everybody here by leaving a comment that says, we are all going to make it. Please do that right now, please. That's your blessing. That's your blessing to your brothers and sisters aboard this starship Lockjaw. You leave a comment that says, we're all gonna make it. We're all gonna make it, every single ass one of us. No one gets left behind, all right? Hashtag Kirk Cameron, hashtag those, those stupid movies. What's up, Ricky Martin? Welcome aboard, Ricky Martin. Leave a comment right now, my friends. We're all gonna make it, okay? No one gets left behind. No one gets left behind.
Let's read some wholesome green texts. <sighs> be me. Be 16 years old. Be a total beta. Have a few friends, but nothing special. This is gonna make you feel good, you guys. It's gonna make you feel good. Here, I got that magic for you. Magic, magic story. <laughs> I'm just a total weeaboo. That means he likes anime. Be doing Duke of Edinburgh Award. For the voluntary, decide to help a paralyzed girl and her mom. Her dad was fighting overseas at the time. First day, I listen to the mom about what I'll be doing. I don't really care. I meet the girl. She's 10 out of 10. Damn.jpg. I say hello. How are you? The usual stuff. Get started helping the mom cook. Me and her mom get talking about the daughter. Ask what she does all day. She just lies in bed watching TV. Mm -hmm. Feels bad, man. Don't think much of other than that. She goes in to take her food and to feed her, etc. She's watching Death Note. We start talking like crazy. Discuss other anime. Become friends quickly. I keep up DOE award. I keep talking to her. We become very good friends. DOE ends. I keep on visiting her after school. I go out with her. With her in a wheelchair. I go to the park and stuff with her. She's never been outside for a prolonged amount of time. We start dating kind of. Keep on visiting and helping out. Watch anime together for a few weeks. Get on to Angel Beats, episode 10. Find out Yui was paralyzed. Keep quiet. Marriage proposal scene. Engage over feel. Dot PNG. 10 for 10 girl asks if I would like her more if she could move. Tears rolling down my face. I throw my arms around her and I softly say, You are perfect the way you are. Don't ever change. This was the first time I ever hugged my wife. Oh. 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 That feels good, man. All right, let's do another one. Oh. Oh, that was nice. Okay, let's do another one. Be me in 1983. I was nine years old. I loved Beatles. My dad got me a rhinoceros beetle for my birthday. Fun to raise and take care of a baby beetle. When he grew up, I took him to beetle races. I always had the fastest beetle and won tons of prizes. My friends called me Beetle King. I felt so proud. One day I decided to take Beetle for a walk. I accidentally stepped on him. Rest in peace. My dreams were crushed like Beetle. I felt so sad. Fast forward 30 years later, teaching economics in high school, planning a lesson on supply and demand determinants. Find article about the decreasing demand in rare Japanese beetles. I show it to the class every day. Everyone loved the lesson. Fast forward one month later, a student comes in with a large box and puts it on my desk. He says, open it, it's for you. I open the box. And it's a baby rhinoceros beetle. I try to maintain my stiff composure, but emotions are too great. All I can say is thank you. Tear runs down my cheek. It is fun to take care of and raise baby beetles. Oh. Oh. It reminds me of my moth that I had when I was younger, man. I'll tell you that story another time. My moth, man. I learned a lot from that moth. I learned how to love from that moth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is our third this is our third story. Let's get started, my friends. Let me get a little clear. Be me a year ago. Parents basically forced me to not be a neat anymore. If you don't know what neat is, it's not employed in education or training. It's um it's younger people typically who don't have jobs or, or go to school. They are called neats. Perhaps we can do a video learning more about it. It's uh it's very, very common. Very common. They give me an ultimatum. If I don't land a job in two months, they're gonna kick me out. I panic. I go to every store, 
of any kind in a huge radius, dropping a poorly put together CV. Do my best to be normie-like during all of this. Put on plain colored t-shirt and jeans, and wear a cap since I have no idea how to do hair. Manage to land a job in a retail store, full time. Job is pretty chill. No one there knows me. It's like a second beginning. Generally, just talk with coworkers the best I can. Do my best to be nice. Every time I'm awkward, I just own it instead of trying to excuse it. A year, this goes on. During Christmas, there is a store Christmas dinner in town. Go with, because why not? I'm not hated by these people. As the night goes on, I realize I am not excluded or the butt of all the jokes. My coworkers like me. My parents are proud I have a full-time job. I feel like I have my life together. I think I have started this slow climb to normiedom. Wish me luck. Hey, he did it, man. He did it. Hey, and if you ever feel like you find yourself in these positions, you can do it too. All right, you can do it too. We all can do it, baby. We have to believe in each other. We have to believe in ourselves. That's why I tell you. I say leave a comment right now that says we're all going to make it. Okay. Hey, I haven't done a video like this recently reading these stories, but if you like them, please let me know. Maybe we can do some more. I like these stories. Got a lot of wholesome ones, got a lot of funny ones and sad ones. A lot of funny ones. There's some really funny of these stories. We'll see though. My friends, please remember, you can do it. All right. You can, you can become, you can become the bloomer. Whether you're a doomer, whether you're a gloomer, whether you're, you can become the boomer. All right. That's where we're all headed. We're all headed to the boomer. I am, I'm Bloomer right now, but I'm on my way to Boomer. And in one year from now, I'm going to be drinking monsters and mowing my lawn. My friends, uh, lastly, before we wrap this up, hey, if you love this content, uh, if you'd like to support it, please do so through Patreon. Thank you so much to those of you who do. Link is in the description. I've got a playlist in that corner. More content just like this. You're going to love it. Go watch that playlist. And in that corner is the video YouTube thinks you should watch based on the other videos that you've been watching. I'll see you soon.